Hey everybody, this is your friend Siljeet and in this video, I want to show you how to set up a Facebook app for Livecaster. Now Livecaster is a desktop application which means that you can use it on your PC, on your computer and you will need to create your own Facebook app and put the details, put the app ID and the app secret inside of Livecaster. So let's see how to get that. First, of course, you need to go to developers.facebook.com and if you're doing it for the first time, Facebook might ask you to confirm that you want to be a developer. You want to say yes to that. Then click on my apps and then click on add a new app. You'll be asked to put in your app's name. You can put in whatever you want. You can put in something like my live test app or put in your name or whatever you want because it's only to you, but it should be unique. So once you're done with that, once you've put in your name, like this one, I've got this one over here, click on create app ID. When you do that, Facebook might ask you to fill in your password again, or sometimes it might show you a capture Fill in the capture and click on submit. Now my app is created and Facebook has brought me to the product setup. You need to add Facebook login to the app. So on the sidebar, find products, inside products, click on add a product, add product. And then you will see Facebook login right on the top. Click on get started and that's it. Then click on settings and you'll see the client OAuth settings. In this, make sure that the client OAuth login is set to yes, web OAuth login should be set to no, and embedded browser OAuth login should be set to yes. So these two settings you have to set to yes and web OAuth to no to make this app work properly inside Livecaster. Click on dashboard. You will see your app ID and you will also see your app secret. Of course, it's not shown. If you, look, if you click on show, it will be shown to you and you need these two details. You need to copy them and enter them into Livecaster. But before that, you need to do a couple more things in your app and I want to show you those. Go into settings. Now you need to give it a namespace, something that's unique to you. It should be unique all over Facebook. So pick up something that is only yours. It could be a domain name that you have or it could be your name, but it should be unique to you. So I'm putting in my live domain. And if I click on save changes, and if the domain is unique, if the namespace is unique, it will be saved. Then click on advanced. And in advanced, turn on the setting native or desktop app. And then you just need to check this a little bit. It looks okay, you don't need to touch anything else. Click on save changes one more time. And finally, click on app review and then click on make livecast public or whatever your app name is, make it public, click on confirm and you need to choose an app category. So it could be, you can just choose apps for pages, that'll do. Click on confirm and you're done. That's all you need to do to set up this app. It's as simple as that. You don't need to do anything else. Then go to dashboard and you will be able to copy your app ID, just click on show, copy your app secret, put them both. Just one last tip, when you want to go live on your own profile, you need to make sure that the app is set to public inside your app setting. So to do that, click on the Facebook menu, then click on settings and inside the settings, click on apps, then select the app that you created. For example, I have this one select it and make sure it's set to public it should not be any of the other options it should be set to public so that's it for livecaster app setup